bacterias in the ileum for the absorption of fat. Okay. So the phylomicron, monoglycerides, triglycerides, all the things are absorbed through the lacteals. Lacteals are nothing but the lymphatic vessels which absorbs the fat present in the ileum. Got it? Yes. Okay, next. Which one of the vitamins can be synthesized by bacteria inside the gut? Uh, which you mean? You is just, it K? No, no. The, that we have to take in through diet. So the thing is, all most of the B-complex vitamins are synthesized by the bacteria only. Symbiotic bacteria. Okay. Then the answer will be vitamin B1. So B complex vitamins can be synthesized by the bacteria. So thiamine B1. Okay. If the pancreas is removed, the compound which remains undigested. If we are removing the pancreas. So from the pancreas, we will get Trypsinogen, chymotrypsinogen, carboxytryptidase, pancreatic lipase, pancreatic amylase. We all of the above. Yeah, very good. All of this. Which of the common um, common among amylase, renin, and trypsin? So, what is the common thing? What one it suits? You? So, this is a very tricky question. Just try to answer this. Are they produced in the stomach? They produce in the stomach? No, no. So you should. Wait, the plural. Uh, it is D, right? Z. Who correct? Is it D? Is it enzyme? What? Is it D? These are all unprotein. No, amylase is not a proteolytic enzyme. Trypsin is proteolytic enzyme. Uh, renin is for curdling of the milk. No? That is not the right answer. These are all not proteolytic enzymes. So the best answer is, uh, usually I'll tell you why this is the best answer. These are all our proteins because all the enzymes are made up of proteins, right? And you can see this option. They are produced in stomach. No, amylase and renin are, uh, amylase is not produced in stomach. Renin is produced in the stomach. Amylase is produced in the mouth and intestine. And trypsin is produced in the pancreas. So this is the wrong answer. These act in the lower pH. Only the renin, will act in the lower pH. Remaining amylase and trypsin should be act in the alkaline, more than seven. So option C is the right. Okay. Vedika, do you get the, do you got the, why it is all our made up of proteins? Uh, what ma'am, can you repeat? Why the enzymes are made up of proteins, you got the thing? For enzyme of protein. Because all the enzymes are chemically made up of proteins. Okay. Except the one enzyme that is ribozyme. Just remind this. Except that one enzyme. Remaining all the enzymes, 99.9% .9 of the enzymes chemically are made up of proteins. Okay. That's why if we increase the temperature, the proteins will denature. Means the enzymes will not work properly because of that nature only. Okay, just tell the this thing, 64th one. So choose the correct enzyme and substrate. You have to choose the correct one. Uh, first one is wrong. Yeah. Uh, is it D? I'm not sure. Is it C? I think it should be D or no, C. Or C. When is the lack on the casein? Okay. Renin will act on the milk protein called casein. This is the right answer. So carbohydrate, uh, you need amylase. This is wrong. For maltase, it is maltose. This is also wrong. And for protein, it is trypsin, chymotrypsin, pepsin, all those things. <coughs> Pelagra is due to the deficiency of. You can tell this answer. Pelagra. Pelagra. Pelagra is vitamin B3 deficiency. Vitamin B3 otherwise called niacin. Okay. Uh, what is tocopherol is vitamin E. Okay. 
So the person will have a sterility problems when the person is having deficiency of vitamin B. Next, riboflavin, vitamin B2. So you'll be having the swollen tongue and cracked mouth, or mouth sores. All these things are riboflavin. And folic acid. Folic acid is microcytic anemia, vitamin B9. Next, high cholesterol patients are advised to use. What they are advised to use? Uh, Ma'am, I can't see the question. High cholesterol patients. So the patient is already uh, in high cholesterol. What they are uh, can you to Can you like move this? Uh, what? Okay. No, no. 66 one, this question. Okay. When you have high cholesterol, you're not supposed to use, you're not supposed to eat anything of fat, right? Anything of fat, but that too, uh, not the trans fat and not the cholesterol. So where you will be having more amount of cholesterol. So usually when the person was being high amount of cholesterol, they can't skip oil. Because the oil is very essential for fat soluble vitamins and also for the cell membrane for all these things, lipids are very essential. That's how they have to prevent the cholesterol. So in the butter, you will be having more amount of cholesterol. In dalda, more amount of cholesterol. So what and all you will have the butter, you just take it off. One, this is butter, you should not take butter anymore. And option C is butter wrong. Option D, dalda. Dalda is very high amount of cholesterol. So option B is the right answer. Groundnut oil, margarine and vegetable oils are advised. Usually, they'll ask you to take the olive oils because the olive oil will have less amount of cholesterol. Got it? Yes, ma'am. And the next thing, the hemorrhagic disease of the newborn is caused by the disease, by the deficiency of so which vitamin will what cause hemorrhage? hemorrhage so what is it? What do you mean? Bleeding. Yes, what does it mean? Bleeding. So hemorrhage means bleeding. He heavy bleeding, we call it as hemorrhage. Oh, vitamin B12. Right? No. no, it is vitamin K. K for clotting. If the blood is not clotted properly, then what happens? More bleeding will take place, right? Vitamin K is for clotting. The letter also suggests that K for clotting. Got it? Okay, right. And next question. A polysaccharide which is synthesized and stored in the liver. Uh, what is it? Uh, is it uh, B? Glycogen, very good. Right. Next, the vitamin C or ascorbic acid will prevent. For vitamin C alone, you will have that deficiency. Uh, sorry, is it A? Scurvy, right. Scurvy. Scurvy, or you can also give it, sometimes it is also given as bleeding of gums. Gums bleeding. And next. Uh, deficiency, calcium deficiency in the body occurs in the absence of because of the what the vitamin deficiency, the calcium also will get deficient. What is that? Uh, it's not vitamin C. Is it vitamin E? Vitamin D, calciferol. Okay. Vitamin D is essential for absorption of calcium. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Again, one more time I am telling that chemical names, just remind this. For vitamin B1, it is thiamine. Okay. <coughs> For B2, it is riboflavin. For B3, niacin. For B5, pantothenic acid. Just remind this. For B5, it is pantothenic acid. And for B6, pyridoxin. And we have the B9, that is folic acid. And for B12, methylcobalamin. Okay. 
Okay, okay, ma'am. And next, which of the following is the function of enterogastrulon? So, what the entero enterogastrulon is a hormone produced by intestine. What it will do? It will decrease. Is it something related to is it? Is it something related to stomach? Enterogastrin is a hormone produced from the intestine. So what it will do is it will decrease the secretion of gastric juice. It will decrease. Yes. Okay, so it is A then. It inhibits secretion of gastric juice. So what when the food is <coughs> uh, when the acidic time is coming to the intestine? What it will do is it has to decrease the secretions in the stomach. So that it will be done by a hormone called enterogastric. Okay. 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 Prolonged deficiency of nicotinic acid or niacin will cause deficiency of niacin will cause vitamin D3. Nicotinic acid or niacin. So you just remind here, xeroptalmia, this is for vitamin, uh, vitamin A. And osteomalacia, this is for vitamin D. Anemia for B9 and B12. For pellagra, it is vitamin B3, niacin. Got it? Okay, right. Next, uh, which of the following is the correct pair? And of the action and the substrate of renin. Renin is stomach, right? Mm, stomach. Is it C? It's not fat. It's yes, uh, right. It's and you just try to answer this. Swollen lips, thick pigmented skin, uh, legs and irritability. What it would be? Swollen lips, thick pigmented skin of hand and legs and irritability. What it would be? Uh, is it very? It's not very, very, right? It's very, very now. Irritability. That was the very important thing with very, very. Oh, okay. What is? Yes, ma'am. No. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know. I know. I didn't uh, recognize it. This thick pigment is skin of hand and legs. Sorry. This is uh, pellagra. So irritability will be common with pellagra and very, very. But uh, the thick pigmented skin of hands will be the characteristic features of pellagra. Okay, next. Most of the fat digestion occurs in. Uh, most is it small intestine? No. Most of no? Most of the fat digestion occurs. Oh, it is. Oh, sorry, sorry. It is not the only one. It is small intestine. Sorry. Come to the next thing. Vitamin K is required for. Vitamin K is required for. So usually the first thing. For the synthesis of prothrombin. Prothrombin. So, this is the first step for the blood clotting. The prothrombin has to be converted into thrombin with the help of the enzyme called thrombokinase. So, the first element is synthesized by vitamin K. Secretion of gastric juice is stopped by. This we have already seen this question. Secretion of gastric juice is stopped by. Uh, see, ma'am. Yeah, 
enterogastrinone. Gastrin will increase the gastric secretion. Pancreozymin and choleocystokine. Pancreozymin are secreted, both are safe. So both will increase the pancreatic and bile secretion. Next, Kupfer cells occur in. Kupfer cells will occur in. Uh, is it, it's not, uh, I'm confused between a liver and kidney. Liver. Liver, okay. Yeah, liver. And next, Bruna's glands occur in. You know this one. Too. Of the ordinary. Yeah, submucosa of the ordinary. Pancreas produces. Pancreas. Heat of the digestive enzyme and two hormones. Yeah, very good. Which is the protein digestion accomplished? Um, is that it means, uh, yeah, it's not stomach, it's not, <coughs> is it uh, B? Okay, accomplished means uh, finishing, right? Hello? I'm sorry, what's that? Accomplished means finishing. Hello. I don't understand. Accomplished means finishing. I'm... Finishing. Oh, okay. So the protein digestion will start in the stomach. Okay. And that will end in duodenum. Oh, okay. That will end in duodenum. Uh, and for ileum, just remind, ileum, most of the absorption will take place in the ileum. That was the very most popular question asked from the ileum. And next, pancreatic juice and hormones of pancreas are produced by. It is not the same cells, same cells at different times. Those two are wrong. Those are produced by dif different cells. Pancreas juice is produced by different cells, ac uh, acne. And the pancreatic hormones are produced by islets of Langerhans. So both are different cells. So in man, the gymosin or the seed cells are mainly found in? Uh, Where well, you can find the seed cells or the gymosin? Just uh, uh, funding, funding part of them. Fundus will be the elevation part of the stomach. There, mostly it is concentrated with cheat cells or zymosin. Okay. Okay, ma'am. And next, emulsification of fats is carried out by. Emulsification of in, uh, in the bigger fat droplet into smaller fat droplets. Bile salts. Because bile pigment will add a color, that's it. Okay, and next. Secretin will stimulate the production of? Salivus is a... What? Secretin. Secretin will act on pancreatic juice. It will produce more amount of pancreatic juice. Okay. okay, next. Release of pancreatic juice is stimulated by? Here you will have the two answers. Both cholecystokinin and secretin, both are correct. Okay. Next, what can the... Um, yes. If they give both the options, then what should I pick? Uh, you go with uh, cholecystokinin. If it is bile, you go with... Uh, Sorry, you go with secretin if it is pancreatic juice. If it is uh, bile, go with polycystopine. Okay. okay, next. What and ducks is associated with? Is it, C, uh, is it D or C? Uh, it is uh, C, submaxillary salivary gland. Okay, so for submaxillary salivary gland, you have to remain what and stuff. And for sublingual salivary gland, you have to leave, uh, you have to remind stents and stuff. Stents and stuff. 
Okay, next. Duck leaving from parotid gland to the opening. Uh, is it is it B? Sorry, uh, for parotid it is tension. And for sublingual, you have one more duck I got uh, confused with. So for uh, submaxillary, just remember what then? And for parotid, it is tension. Right. Lamnia propria is associated with. Is it correct? Is it is it uh, B? What? That is. For eighty-eight, it's B, right? For eighty-eight, it is B. What is eighty nine? I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Lamnia propria is actually uh, it is present in the mucosa. So mucosa of the intestine. Uh, intestine. Yeah, it is intestine. Lamnia propria is one of the layer present in the uh, serosa muscularis. Uh, submucosa and mucosa, you will have all this code, right? In the in the mucosa layer, you will be having lamnia propria, which is highly vascularized layer. Okay. 